To be fair, we did have this weirdo come in like every week and just like, she would like, she'd say, oh, Big Mac, extra pickles. And she'd say specifically 26. So you'd have, you'd have to put 26 extra pickles into the Big Mac. At McDonald's mm. before, weren't you? I was working at McDonald's up until probably up until like 45, 50k subs. Really? How many years was that until? Two and a half years service. Oh, service. I had the four stars, okay. had the four stars. I will say I declined multiple um, offers to, bo- to be moved up to management. Oh, oh really? Emergency loans. Multiple, multiple Are you frontline op- staff? Or I was you... on the front line. <laughs> And sometimes I go back in the kitchen. No, I, I got told oh. from someone that I knew that worked at McDonald's that they used to put they put girls at the register because it entices the male customers. And then all the guys get shoved in the patties the f- at the back. Who Impressive. Gets, who, who gets horny over a Happy Meal? I, 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 you, good question. Who says, you know what, there's a girl there, I'm going to get a, a, a Big Mac. I think they just the people that are on front counter are the ones that just don't know how to cook. <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest. Like, that's, what, that's why I went front counter. I remember watching quite, uh, quite a few of your videos a long time ago, and every single vlog that you did was, I was like, "What am I eating today?" You know, oh, you mate, did, food it, of the week was beans on the toast. <laughs> food of the week, that pop. I'm telling you, people people got involved in food of the week. It was always beans and toast. I swear to God, beans and toast with cheese. Yes, oh, or oh, oh, they right. cheese and toast with beans. Because mm. there's a big difference. Beans on toast with cheese for me. Tr- if oh. you tr- try oh. it, try try cheese on toast with beans. It is. I actually prefer really? beans on toast with cheese, but it's actually oh. quite nice. Oh, no. See, I, I love beans, love toast, love cheese. Don't mix them together. Don't ruin. Oh, you're old school. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's, 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 it's like How can you say don't mix beans with cheese? Have you never had? Have you been to Greg's? Do you know what, mate? We just need to like appreciate that we're living in a time with great beans and cheese. Wait, have, wait, together. have you actually been to Greg's? So no, do so do not, don't, don't compare them. Don't do you know them. what don't, Greg's don't is? Them. We don't want to see Messi and Ronaldo on the same team. We want to see them against. So each you, other. you've never had a bean and cheese melt oh, from, from Greg's? Greg's? Yeah, no, obviously. No. He's you the never... fussiest eater, mate. He's no, so fussy. I remember one time my mate made me get a. It was a macaroni pie that had <sighs> mashed potato and beans on the top. And oh, that sounds amazing. That does. You know, I just got recently. Iceland sell Greg's official yeah. pasties. The do and is it oh, wow? Really? It's like two quid, and they're exactly the same. I yeah. tried it; they taste the same. That's why mums go to Iceland. It I is go true. Myself. It is That's why I go to Iceland. Yeah. Purely for those. Uh, Change their slogan. Give them the free brand deal. Yeah, the podcast <laughs> isn't sponsored. Please sponsor is that your Greg's. weirdest food combination that you like? Does anyone else? There's have nothing weird... weird about beans and cheese. It is a well. Oh. There is well known that There's everyone. There's plenty wrong with that. Ev- everyone loves oh. beans and cheese. You're going to get slated in the comments now whether you don't like beans no, and cheese. No, I, I don't think that that's like a normal type of thing that you'd get like on a starter restaurant menu. But it's just like in a restaurant. Well, no, you wouldn't get beans and cheese, would you? <laughs> well, you wouldn't you would get, get beans, beans on toast, toast at a restaurant. restaurant. Would you? Uh, yes, you would. You, you, Breakfast, of course you would. No, no, not oh a restaurant. God. It's not a restaurant. I'd say a cafe. cafe. Yeah. yeah, a cafe you probably would. But you're not on Michelin's <laughs> car restaurant. <laughs> All right, no, boo. <laughs> beans and cheese on toast. <laughs> Clara, just I'll have the beans on toast, please. Oh, uh, Lewis rocking up the Ritz just like, excuse me, beans on yeah, toast, no, please. I, I, don't compare them. I, I, I love beans, love, don't put them together. They, get, okay. they go soggy and disgusting. Well, oh. it, well probably back to the yeah, career. To the <laughs> when did you go full time, obviously? Uh, so after McDonald's, I quit. And then I, I actually did like six weeks at Tesco's, really? which I don't Ooh. think actually many people know about. Oh. It was not, uh, it was exclusive. It was it was a waste of my time. Wait, so why did you leave, why did <laughs> you leave <laughs> McDonald's to go full time but work at Tesco? I left McDonald's because like I just got to the point where it was so shite. Like the hours, like I was doing overnights. I just wanted to change. To be honest, I just wanted to. They broke you down pretty much. It, it broke. They broke me down. <laughs> yeah. Did you down? Like, I remember. I remember the last just the last four days at Mackey's. They gave me on like um, what I have like a four a five a.m. start. I think. And then I said I did one overnight, which was nine p.m. till nine a.m. What? Yeah, the hell? <laughs> That's not right. That's twelve hours. <laughs> um, did you get yeah. a break in that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. To, like the overnight. Really? To be fair, the overnights weren't like usually. It was like ten till seven a.m. They weren't that bad because you quiet. Could, yeah, they were. Like, it, well, it depends. It was a Friday and Saturday, a little bit busy, but usually they were okay. Like I had a packet of skills. Like one night, I, I watched match of the day. <laughs> Your nutrition is always confused me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat. I don't eat sweets anymore. Oh really? I gave them up two years ago. Fuck oh, that. Legit. So yeah. You don't have sweets at all. No. I was gonna. Ask I, eat, you. I eat chocolate. Do you, oh, you're fair oh, enough. Yeah. Normally I do get. Yeah, sweets I couldn't. For the... I couldn't stop chocolate. Do you eat McDonald's still? Uh, yes, but I say not that often because of lockdown. But usually I'll stop. Usually I'll go to McDonald's if I'm driving somewhere. 
Do you uh, like reminisce when you go there? You like the smell. The yeah. smells, the yeah. Point, yeah. No, there's because there's some there's some there's some stuff like pickles in McDonald's. If I smell a pickle, I'd just get out. Why? Well, I, I hate pickles. Like, well, like, they're, like, triggers you. But yeah, like, yeah, because you, do you eat pickles in your McDonald's? Yeah, yeah, no, I no, hate no, them. They're gone. Yeah, 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 Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Correct. Thank you. No one right. should eat the fucking pickles at McDonald's. I actually seen on the, the Uber Eats. Uh, menu when you like do you know when you order something it says customize like mm. add or remove top I'm a it customizer says, it says pickles recommended to remove absolutely not <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah to, remove. to remove yeah 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 you need to it's so that's, like at McDonald's you have a pickle bag mm. which is just like this tall bag of pickles oh yeah. that sounds great and it's just full of pickles and the pickle juice yeah and it's someone's job to empty the juice out and then put the pickles in the pickles just remind me of Eastern Europeans like and not that that's a bad thing. <laughs> get them out. Not get them out. Get, the get them out. We don't want them anywhere near, huh? Like that. <laughs> 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 don't like them. I hate pickles. They remind me of the Europeans. <laughs> Like a Brexit should have thought them. about that before I said no because because they, they love them so like obviously oh, they love them in America oh, as well big time really? they're, they're they big Finger fans what everyone at Eastern Europe no no like it's a very Eastern European thing like Polish even like Lewandowski you know. yeah. they all just <laughs> love pickles Lewandowski yeah, they do, they they do snacks. man it's it's snack. it's it's not a racist deal. no we, we, oh, right, we keep it in his pocket to be fair we did have this weirdo come in like every week and just like she would like she'd say Big Mac extra pickles and she'd say specifically 26 <laughs> so you'd have you'd have to put twenty six extra pickles into the Big Mac. Twenty six pickles. Dodgy, that, dodgy, would you, dodgy. That's a pickle person. burger. That's a dodgy person. <laughs> would you would you charge the them extra or would you just? Oh, really? we would charge them. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, we charge premium Ooh, they, on they, them, they pickles. them pickles. <laughs> they don't go lightly. The pickles. Have you ever had any like really bad like experiences working in like yeah. any really? I feel like everyone in customer service does. I don't. The customer service like usually it weren't that bad like. If if things. someone was giving it to you, you just give it back because like what what is McDonald's? <laughs> like what like what like realistically what they're gonna do? Fire you. That's the thing. You've got nothing to lose, have you? Yeah, like. But the well, thing is, have you not seen the people who like have got like university degrees and stuff? Have applied to McDonald's and be like, sorry, we have like a an elite like not elite, but it's like a very rigorous uh, uh, vetting process or whatever it is, and you haven't met, met the criteria. I did. Yeah, like, they I have would... a full two one degree. Yeah, that's why they, I don't think they hire like people like super smart. Overqualified. Oh, uh, yeah, you don't want to quite hire someone overqualified at McDonald's because they just climb the ranks so it's, as quick ASAP, basically, and oh, still a job. Them, they want to keep them. But in, in contrast to that, I don't have that many GCSEs and I don't have a degree. And I applied three times and I got rejected three times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's also a certain level you need to get in McDonald's. <laughs> You are the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you got me in between somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not qualified fights. enough to flip burgers. So, so basically, you've got to know how many pickles. You've got to be able to count to 26. Right. Yeah, but okay. you, you, can't, right. you can't actually know how to tell the, them. Like, no. To be fair, I think the only reason I got the job was the fact that... So our McDonald's was like... Everyone at the college worked at this McDonald's. So it was just like all of us just running it as a shit show. So it was always your mates came this. So yeah, every shift like... was just full of the mates. Oh, it that's good. Cool. Cool. Yeah, it was sick. It was actually a lot of fun. It, don't get me wrong, it was... Stressful. Was there one person that's been there for the last twenty eight years? It's like got a little hunch. Still there. It's like, <laughs> still there. I still know people who work there who were there ten years before me, and it's now been almost. The, 10 the years McDonald's afterwards. I went to as a kid that I still go to now. It's the same people. And I'm like they, they get. I tell you why it's quite deep. They get stuck there, and like they don't know anything else apart from McDonald's. Mm. But if and then it's, you, I saw someone recently leave, and as soon as you leave, they're like, oh my god, this like there is a life outside McDonald's. So I, many people get stuck in get it. Comfortable? Or yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Because you get paid every two weeks. That. Yeah, I uh, can completely every understand. Two weeks? We, yeah. we, when I was working at Roxy, we used to get paid cash uh, every week, and then obviously that influx of like money, and you actually mm. see it in front of you as opposed to it going in your bank. Um, when I left, I, I was working there for like eleven months. Mm. But when I left, I was a bit like, oh, yeah, Ooh. welcome to the real world. Yeah, I was just like, yeah, I went traveling for two months before I started uni. But then I can so imagine like if you're you're so used to like your schedule in your life that to like leave that I can Well it's just like when I when I did those six weeks at Tesco's, like I was getting paid more and doing fuck all. <laughs> I, mate, I was like scanning something on the shelf. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I literally don't know what no one really trained me, if I'm being honest. <laughs> didn't know what I was doing, but compared to doing rush hour on a Saturday afternoon at McDonald's, so much better.